Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on Visual Basic on using the scrub bar control. Um, I've created a new Windows form application. I put in three scrub scro bar controls, three labels, uh, two panels, and two radio controls. Um, the scrub bar controls are named red bar, green bar, and blue bar. And these are just uh, the default names, panel two, panel one, radio button one, radio button two. So now let's go ahead and first set up uh, two methods. So sub color box one, then CLR as color. CLR equals color that from ARGB red bar. That value, green bar, that value, and blue bar, that value. And we'll use this one for our uh, panel one. Panel one dot that color equals CLR. Then we'll go ahead and uh, create a second one. Uh, for our panel two, now it's um, let's see for properties. Uh, for all, all the properties, I have the um, large change set up to 5, the small change set up to 1, and uh, the maximum set up to 255. Now let's go into the events of each of the bars. <clears throat> go to the scroll event. We're going to say if e.type equals scroll event type that end scroll, then color box one, label red that text equals red and red bar that value that two string quote number 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 end quote same for our uh, other two bars, for our blue bar, scroll event. Let's go to our green bar, scroll event. Go ahead and change this to appropriate one. Label blue that text equals blue and blue bar that value and for this one. Label green that text equals green and green bar that value. Now let's um, select all these controls and go to the value changed event. And then we're going to say, remember uh, back here we have the radio buttons. Radio button one at the outside. So we'll say if radio button one dot check equals true and color box one else color box two and remember color box one that method controls <coughs> panel one which is the outside um, nope I got that backwards to the inside
Alright, so if uh, the radio button 1, which is the outside panel, is checked equals true, then it's going to call the color box 2 method, which is uh, the second panel's back color property. Let's go ahead and run this. Right, the outside panel radio button is checked, so the outside back color changes. Now let's go ahead and change the inside panel. And that's the tutorial for the scroll bars. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me.